Welcome to our Python programming exploration. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers about a unique variation in Python's if statement syntax. Let's dive into the code and uncover its secrets. Our viewer encountered a piece of Python code that uses a syntax they hadn't seen before. The code increments a variable based on a condition, but instead of a traditional if-else structure, it uses a clever list indexing technique. Let's break it down. All right, guys, we're back with another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find your solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's explore a unique syntax in Python that you might not have seen before. The line of code we're focusing on is i equals 1, 3, i5. In this line, we are using a list and an expression to determine how much to increment the variable i. The expression i5 evaluates to either true or false. When i5 is true, it returns 1, which corresponds to the index 1 in the list 1, 3. If it's false, it returns 0, corresponding to the index 0. This syntax is not a list comprehension. Rather, it's a clever use of list indexing to simplify conditional logic. It allows for concise code. You can use this technique in various scenarios, such as returning different strings based on conditions. However, remember that clarity is key in coding. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this example, the list can return either 1 or 3 based on the index. It cleverly uses the fact that 0 equals false and 1 equals true. However, the author prefers a more straightforward approach using a for loop. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. You can use a ternary operator in Python for a concise if statement. It allows you to assign a value based on a condition in a single line. And that's it, guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.